Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Mason Maggs, and today's riddle was inspired by Ted Ed, the best puzzle makers I can think of. So thank you so much, Ted Ed, for help inspiring the balloon race riddle. Let's get started. Monsterville is a fictional world filled with friendly monsters. It has rules and scientific principles that differ from Earth's. Even its inhabitants are a little abnormal. Our story takes place in Monsterville. Today is the big balloon race in Monsterville, and Connor Sparks, one of Monsterville's inhabitants, is all set for the race. In Monsterville, hot air balloons go faster at ideal temperatures. Connor has concluded that his balloon goes fastest at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. However, there's a problem. Connor realizes he forgot his burner, the part that heats the balloon. With not much time before the race starts, Connor asks his fellow contestants for help. And one of the contestants, Dr. Tom Tentacles, has generously allowed Connor to use any of his old burners for the race. However, Tom doesn't remember how hot each burner burns. But he does remember no two burners emit the same temperature. Connor knows that he is allowed to use more than one burner for the race. In Monsterville, if you use two or more burners to heat a balloon, the resulting temperature is the average temperature. So for example, if you use an 80 degree burner and a 100 degree burner, it will create a 90 degree flame. However, Connor doesn't know how hot each of Tom Tentacle's burners burns. Fortunately, there is a note on the box Tom gave him that reads the following. The blue and yellow burners together create a 275 degree flame. The coldest burner burns at 270 degrees. The red burner is 20 degrees hotter than the green one. The yellow and red burners create a 310 degree flame. Two burners have temperatures higher than 300. The blue burner doesn't have the lowest temperature. And finally, every burner has a temperature ending in a zero. Connor doesn't have much time before the race starts. How hot does each burner burn? And which combination of burners will give you 300? Pause the video here if you want to try to solve this puzzle for yourself. So, where do you even start? Well, we know that the blue and yellow burners together create a 275 degree flame. However, since every burner has a temperature ending in a zero, and the coldest burner burns at 270 degrees, that can only mean that the blue and yellow burners burn at 270 degrees and 280 degrees. But which burns at which? Well, since we know that 270 is the lowest temperature, and we know that blue does not have the lowest temperature, the only logical conclusion is that the blue burner burns at 280 degrees, and the yellow burner burns at 270 degrees. Now we're getting somewhere. Now then, we know that two burners have temperatures higher than 300. That must be the red and green burners. And we know the yellow and red burners together create a 310 degree flame, you do the math real quick right up there you can conclude that the red burner burns at 350 degrees and now how hot does the green burner burn well we know that the red burner is 20 degrees hotter than the green one that must mean that the green burner burns at 330 degrees but this is only half the problem the other half is which combination of burners gives you 300 degrees fahrenheit you'll find that the easiest one that works is the green and the yellow burners. Thank you so much for watching. Today's quote of the day from William Cranch Bond, life is like a balloon. You must put something into it to get the best possible results. One more shout out to Ted Ed for help inspiring this riddle. Until next time, later. Yeah.